My name is Ole Lundin. Uh, I'm a designer, coordinator, um, bisexual uh, artist. Uh, I'm queer. I'm a brother. Um, I'm a friend. And I'm a spokesperson for the queer constituency. When we discussed the ten works with the queer constituency, um, Malou pointed out uh, the Tête d'enfant endormi uh, of Brancusi um, because it has, it lacks um, pretension, something which is very present if you look at the other artworks. Um, but it also shows a very intimate moment, as if you could almost, you know, lie down next to this and just cuddle and sleep in. Um, and I very much agree with that. Um, I think it's a very intimate piece. Uh, in the discussion around the, um, if there was a work that confirms um, an image of the Netherlands, uh, the Burgemeister van Delft uh, came up um, as a topic of discussion um, because it kind of shows a very affirmative picture of how prosperity was and maybe also is divided. Uh, it shows the arrogance of a white rich man, uh, the submissiveness of women, and also the Burgermeister kind of ignoring problems such as uh, maybe poverty or class, which aren't really bothering him. Um, and yeah, if it is or if it was showing Dutch um, Dutch perspective, it's still a white rich man in power. When talking with the group about the public collection, um, the Malou also pointed out that she doesn't necessarily feel like an owner, but uh, she found them being very familiar. Um, and even though she didn't think that she had seen the images herself, uh, they're sort of in a collective memory and the background that she knows and she is aware of. Um, whereas Carl, who is from Lebanon, pointed out that um, he doesn't really see a difference between a public and a private collection in this sense, um, but more in being being a guest here in the Netherlands. What is the difference between being a guest and being able to feel like a resident still? Like you can still be a resident and feel like a guest. Um, and I also, I kind of agree with that as well. Um, but for, for me, for myself, uh, a public art collection like this has a very high value. I I really appreciate that this collection is public and is hopefully shown to to people because I think that it has the potential to make us talk about um, ideals and um, symbols of power that existed maybe more in the past um, and I think it's really important to highlight those um, in today's context so. Um, what you're doing right now by uh, asking other groups what they think about these artworks, I think, is one way to really make these artworks being important in their public collection position. Because if they would never be shown, there would be not really any value to it for the public, I would say. In the discussions with the queer constituency um, about which of the 10 masterpieces would relate to a topic that the constituency has to deal with quite a lot. Uh, Carl pointed out something that I find quite uh, relevant. Um, he looked at Portrait von ein Older Man, Portrait of an Old Man by Rembrandt. And um, because for him, as someone who identifies with the word queer, um, this painting represents everything that is power, uh, masculinity, normality, and privilege. Uh, something that he has had trouble with identifying with throughout his entire life. Uh, so in that sense, this painting is really something which is relevant to look at today and also to see it's really a portrait of an old man. So the title itself um, is quite peculiar in that sense.